Okay, welcome to this video series on how to make a visual novel in Unreal 4. Now, a while back, I made a post on the Lemasoft forums asking if anyone was interested in using Unreal 4 to make a visual novel. And I was going to make a pretty long tutorial series about it, and I had a bunch of art assets and stuff um, prepared in case I really said yes. Unfortunately, for about a week, nobody said yes, so I sort of stopped looking at the post. And it turns out that somebody did say yes a few weeks later. And I didn't actually look at that post until a few days ago again, and that was uh, about four months ago. So now I feel pretty bad for keeping that person waiting, so I thought I'd make the video now. Unfortunately, back then I had a bunch of art assets prepared for the series, but I deleted all of them because nobody said yes, and I wanted to work on my own projects, and I was running out of room on my, on my computer despite having oh, about six... 0.6 terabytes of data. So I don't have any art to show you for now, but if anybody does have some art assets I can use in this series, that would be great. Um, also, one of the reasons I'm not showing you what we're going to be doing is ahead of time is because it's constantly going to be changing. Uh, first, we're going to start just using the console in Unreal 4 just to show you um, the basic idea of how we're going to be doing stuff. And then we're going to be moving towards um, a more sort of traditional visual novel uh, where there's a sprite in the background and sprite as characters and they're just sort of being there, being sprites. And then we're going to eventually change all that to using 3D backgrounds and 3D characters and that's going to be a lot more complicated because, well, we'll get to that later. So let's get started with the, let's create the project first. Um, library, Unreal, I'm using 4.220.1. And we're going to have to use a, well, in this series, we're going to be using a dialog plugin, um, the not yet dialog prog plugin. So blueprint blank uh, in my tutorial folders, yep, I'm just going to call this VN for visual novel, create project. But yeah, um, the plugin we're going to be using, I know for a fact that it supports 420. I'm not sure about future versions, if they're going to keep supporting it or not, but definitely 420 is supported in case anybody can't find a version of the engine that doesn't work with it. Um, let's go to our edit, editor preferences. I'm going to make these small up here because this is taking up way too much space that we really don't need, especially if you're using something like a 720p monitor. So to do that, we're going to go to edit. Editor Preferences, Use Small Toolbar Icons. By the way, I'm going to be acting as if you know nothing about Unreal 4 because I'm assuming that anybody who's watching this comes from using RenP. So I'm going to be constantly comparing uh, what we're doing to RenP a lot. And I'm going to enable Window Animations because why not? Also in the Performance, uh, Show Frame Rate and Memory. Right and now the space is not being used for anything so we might as well check this button to show our frame rate and memory. Set its default, yep. Okay, back to appearance. That is default. Now, like I said, in the first step, or in the next episode, we're going to be using the console output log. I mean, to show what we're going to be doing basically, and this is going to be kind of hard to read for anybody that's um, using a 720p monitor, especially since I'm recording at 1440p. So to increase that size, we can go down to the bottom of here, go to log font size. I'm going to change this to something more comfortable like 12. Set as default. And we have to restart the editor to apply new changes. So we're going to do that. Close this. And while we're here, we might as well add the dialog system plugin. So this is the 420 version. I'm going to copy this. If you can't... Um, it should be on a marketplace, just type in not yet dialog system, it should come up. Uh, there's also a GitHub page where you can download it in case um, it's not, in case you want to get the most current version. I know that when 420 came out, about four days later, they released the 420 version for um, the plugin. But it wasn't on the marketplace just yet, you had to get it from the GitHub uh, repository if you wanted to use it. So we're going to copy this, go to our tutorials, VN, and we need to make a new folder. 
uh, waiting for this to pop up anytime now. There we go. Folder. We c have to call this plugins. Oh, I already have a folder called plugins. Oh, this is the wrong folder. That's why. This VN new folder plugins. Here we go. And paste that in there. And if we go back to our project VN. Click that, open it. It's going to ask us to rebuild our modules. Yep, right here, DL system, DL system editor. We have to rebuild it? Yes. Start build, show log, and we have to wait for that to build. Um, actually, that's going to be the end of this video. We just set up our project in this one. Next, we're going to be looking at the dialog system more, uh, talking about how to use it if so you can see if you you know really want to use this for your visual novel or not. And I'll see you there while I wait for this to build.